In this video I'll be showing you how to download and install Wild War 3 free to play game onto your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is download and install Steam. And if you don't already have a Steam account then you're going to need to create one of those as well. So you need to click on the first link that's in the description below to go onto Steam. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select install Steam and once the file has finished downloading you then need to run the setup file. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to press next and you then need to select your language and then press next again and you can then choose where you'd like to install Steam. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. Once you're happy with the destination folder you can then press install. Once Steam has finished installing go ahead and keep run Steam ticked and then press finish. Okay, so you will now end up with a window that looks like this. So you now need to either sign into your Steam account if you do have one. If you don't, then you can click on the create a new account button to create a Steam account. So I'm now going to go ahead and sign into my account. Once you're signed into Steam, you now need to select the store. And you then need to select the search box. And we then need to type in World War 3. Once you type that in, you will then see the World War 3 option. You need to select this. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You then need to scroll down and you will now see the option that says play game next to free to play. You need to click onto this button and you can now choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut and a start menu shortcut. I'm going to keep these ticked and you can then choose where you'd like to install the game. I'm happy for the game to be installed on my C drive. So once you selected the drive you would like to install World War 3 onto, you can then press next. You can now press finish and at the bottom you will see downloading. Go ahead and select this option and you will then be able to see the progress of World War 3 downloading. So as you can see I've got a few seconds left. Once that's finished you then need to press the play button. You might now have Windows Defender Firewall pop up. You need to press allow because we need to give World War 3 access to the internet. And there we go, you will now end up with the World War 3 launcher and as you can see it's now currently downloading the game onto my computer. Once that's finished, I will then be able to press the play button to launch the game. So every time you want to play World War 3, all you need to do is open up Steam, launch the game and then press play within the launcher. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.